Okay, so in this video we're looking at the equation s cubed plus t cubed equals negative 2, and we're trying to decide whether or not s and t are functions of one another. So the shortcut for this is really just to look at the exponents. So when you see s cubed, that'll indicate that s is a function of t, and if you see t cubed, that means t is a function of s. If you see s squared, uh, that means s is not a function of t, and if you see t squared, that means t is not a function. And so just by using that rule, we see an s cubed and we see a t cubed. So it's safe to say that um, s and t will both be functions. So let me look. I think option A is looking pretty good. So we say they're both functions of one another. And so if, if you'd like to keep watching, I will work out why this makes sense. So if we have s cubed plus t cubed equals negative 2. The idea is to solve for one variable with respect to the other variable. So what I'm doing right now is getting s by itself on one side. And when we do that, we get the cube root of negative 2 plus t cubed. And so the idea is that s is now a function of t. And it is a function for sure because when you have a cube root of um, you know, some polynomial like that on the inside, then it should pass the vertical line test. Or in other words, for every input, there should be just one output. Now, um, the same thing you know, would happen if we solve for t on one side. In the next video, I'll talk about why some s squared and t squared pieces would not be functions. Thanks.